a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The brethren devoted themselves to the apostles' instruction and the communal life, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. A reverent fear overtook them all, for many wonders and signs were performed by the apostles. Those who believed shared all things in common. They would sell their property and goods, dividing everything on the basis of each one's need. They went to the temple area together every day, while in their homes they broke bread. With exultant and sincere hearts, they took their meals in common, praising God and winning the approval of all the people. Day by day, the Lord added to their numbers those who were being saved. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Praised be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who in his great mercy gave us new birth, a birth unto hope which draws its life from the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, a birth to an imperishable inheritance, incapable of fading or defilement, which is kept in heaven for you, who are guarded with God's power through faith a birth to a salvation which stands ready to be revealed in the last days. There is cause for rejoicing here. You may for a time have to suffer the distress of many trials, but this is so that your faith, which is more precious than the passing splendor of fire-tried gold, may be in genuineness lead to praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ appears. Although you have never seen him, you love him. And without seeing you, believe in him. And rejoice with inexpressible joy touched with glory, because you are achieving faith's goal, your salvation. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me. Happy are those who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, even though the disciples had locked the doors of the place where they were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood before them. Peace be with you, he said. When he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. At the sight of the Lord, the disciples rejoiced. Peace be with you, he said again. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive men's sins, they are forgiven them. If you hold them bound, they are held bound. It happened that one of the twelve, Thomas, the name means twin, was absent when Jesus came. The other disciples kept telling him, we have seen the Lord. His answer was, I'll never believe it without probing the nail prints in his hands, without putting my finger in the nail marks and my hand into his side. A week later, the disciples were once more in the room, and this time Thomas was with them. Despite the locked doors, Jesus came and stood before them. Peace be with you. He said then to Thomas, Take your finger, examine my hand. Put your hand into my side. Do not persist in your unbelief, but believe. Thomas said in response, My Lord and my God. Jesus then said to him, You became a believer because you saw me. Blessed are they who have not seen and have believed. Jesus performed many other signs as well, signs not recorded here, in the presence of his disciples. But these have been recorded to help you believe that Jesus is the Messiah, 
the Son of God, so that through this faith you may have life in his name. This is the Gospel of the Lord. hard to top that story. They were afraid. Even after Jesus had risen, even after they knew he was alive again, they were afraid. We can be afraid. Most of us are afraid right now. The coronavirus has people terrified. It's killing people. It's infinitesimally small. It's something we can only see with the aid of very, very powerful microscopes, and yet it can kill. And Jesus stands to say, peace be with you. Why? Because death is not permanent. We believe in life beyond the grave. We believe this is the beginning. This is the kingdom now. And the way we treat one another shows us how the kingdom will be. How can it be? We can do like the early apostles and disciples and share. We can share with one another. And there's enough to go around. There's enough that everyone can eat. There's enough that everyone can have a place to stay. But our greed makes us not wish to share. Our desire to pile up riches keeps us from opening our hearts. What does Jesus ask us to do? Put your finger in my hand. Put your hand in my side. Do not persist in your unbelief. I love the story of Thomas because so many of us, like me, are like Thomas. I haven't seen him. I don't believe. I don't, until I put my finger in his hands, I'm not going to believe it. Here in the West, we talk about doubting Thomas. In India, they never they never say doubting Thomas. They say Lord Thomas, Mar Thomas. They don't say, I won't believe until I put my finger in his hands. They say, my Lord and my God. Because India received Thomas after Thomas believed. Thomas went there full of zeal, completely believed. Let us believe. Let us care about our fellow human beings. Let us share those things God has given us so that all of God's children have enough to eat and a place to sleep and clothes to wear. Let us work together to share this space so that no one needs to die unnecessarily. May God fill us with all of his love and grace, that we have the wisdom to heed his words. Amen. Let us all be filled with joy. Let us pray to the Lord in gladness, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Father of mercy, God of all consolation, grant us your peace. We pray to the Lord, hear our prayer that there might be peace, concord, and goodness throughout the earth and the whole church. We pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. Let us entrust ourselves and one another to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Catholic Church, here and everywhere in every jurisdiction, that it may grow and flourish. We pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. For our fathers and mothers, the bishops, in a special way for the health of all the patriarchs, our own synod of bishops, and all of those who serve as leaders in the church, we pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. In memory of our holy fathers and mothers, for all true priests and bishops and doctors of the church, that following their examples we may come to love and serve the Lord, we pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. Let us all be filled with joy. Let us pray to the Lord in gladness. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us rise through the strength of God. Glory to his holy name. In prayer and supplication, let us ask for an angel of peace and mercy. To you, O Lord. Day and night we beg for a lasting peace for the church and a life without sin. To you, O Lord. For the remission of our sins, which is necessary for our life and pleasing in your sight, we pray to you, O Lord. Let us entrust ourselves and one another to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. To you, Lord, our God. We beseech you, O Lord God Almighty, to perfect in us your grace and to pour out your gifts into our hands with abundance. May your mercy and divine love pardon all of our debts and forgive the sins of all the sheep of your flock, the flock you have chosen for your own through your goodness and compassion, O Lord of all. Through our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord bless us. Let us bow our heads and pray for his blessing. In your mercy, Lord, grant that we may be pleasing in your sight, doing works of righteousness all the days of our lives. May we always be worthy through the help of your grace to offer you glory, thanksgiving, and honor, O Lord of all, your Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, forever and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Place your trust in the Lord. The wretched shall eat and be filled. The body of Christ and his precious blood are upon the holy altar. In reverence and love, let us draw near to him. With the angels, let us raise a joyful sound to him. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God. Lord God, accept this offering from my weak and sinful hands. Make it a good and acceptable sacrifice for the living and the dead for whom it is offered. Bless the lives of those who offer it. Into the cup of salvation I pour wine. May it become for us the sign, of, the sign of the blood which flowed from the side of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The water is mixed with the wine, the wine with the water. Let these two become one in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord of all wash away the stains of our sins with the hyssop of his love. May he cleanse the stains of our offenses in the immense ocean of his mercy. May he heal the scars of our iniquities in the ocean of his loving kindness. May the Lord wipe away the blot of our sins and offenses with his goodness and mercy forever. Let us offer up praise to your glorious Trinity at all times and forever. Amen. May Christ, who was sacrificed for our salvation, and who commanded us to make a commemoration of his death, burial, and resurrection, accept a sacrifice from my hands in his grace and mercy forever. Amen. By your command, our Lord and our God. By your command, our Lord and our God. By your command, our Lord and our God. These glorious, holy, life-giving, and divine mysteries are set and ordered upon the absolving altar until the coming of our Lord the second time from heaven. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever, unto ages of ages. Amen and amen. Apostles of the Son and beloved of the Only Begotten, pray that there might be peace over all of creation. Let all the people say Amen and Amen, O our holy patron. We remember you upon this holy altar together with the just ones who have triumphed and the martyrs who have been crowned. Behold all those who have fallen asleep in the hope that they will be raised up with you in your glorious resurrection. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. 
Let us pray in the memory of our fathers and mothers, the patriarchs, the bishops, and all the priests and clergy, the sisters and brothers, young men and women, and all who have departed the world in true faith. Let us pray for our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters, for our husbands and wives, for our sons and daughters, for all the rulers who love Christ. May our sacrifice be accepted and sanctified by the Word of God and by the Holy Spirit, for our good help, salvation, and everlasting life in the kingdom of heaven through Christ. May we lift up glory, honor, thanksgiving, and adoration to you now and at all times and forever. Amen. May peace be with you and also with you. Let us give peace to one another in the love of Christ. Let us all praise and beseech the Lord in purity and penance. In reverence, look upon what is taking place before you, these awesome mysteries to be consecrated. Let us cast down our pride and lift up our minds to heaven in meditation and attention. Now let us pray. Let no one dare speak. Let those who pray pray in the silence of their hearts. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, now and forever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right always and everywhere to give God praise. Peace be with us. Worthy of glory from every tongue and adoration from all creatures is your glorious name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You've created the world in your goodness and all that is in it by your mercy. Your love has redeemed us and has given us grace. Myriads of holy angels cast themselves down before your majesty. Ministers of fire and spirit bless your holy name. Cherubim and seraphim praise you without ceasing. We join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the the highest. On the night when he was betrayed, when the time came that he would suffer and be given up to death, he took bread into his sacred hands. Raising his eyes to you, O God, his almighty Father, he gave you thanks and blessed it and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Likewise, after they had eaten, he took the precious cup into his sacred hands. Giving you thanks, he blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Amen. Even as you commanded, we are gathered together, your frail and wretched servants, in whom you have instilled a great grace, not taking vengeance. You put on our humanity to give us life through your divinity. You've lifted our lowliness and repaired our ruin. You've given life to our mortality and forgiven our debts. You've justified our sinfulness and lightened our understanding. O Lord, you have overcome our enemies. You have ennobled our weak nature through your abundant compassion and love. May the Lord bless us. And in return for all of your blessings upon us, we offer your glory and honor, thanksgiving and adoration, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In our minds, let us pray. May peace be with us. O Lord, we, your unworthy servants, are gathered together in your name and stand before you now. We have received your Son's example through tradition. Because of this we rejoice, glorify, exult, call to mind and offer this awe-filled and life-giving mystery of the passion, death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
May your Holy Spirit come upon these gifts. May God bless and hallow them, that they become for us the pardon of our sins, the forgiveness of our offenses, the hope of resurrection from the dead and new life in the kingdom of heaven with all those who have been pleasing to you. Because of your mercy towards us, we praise you without ceasing and glorify you in your church, ransomed by the blood of Christ. Our mouths opened, our faces unveiled. We offer praise and honor and thanksgiving to your living, holy, life-giving name now and forever and in the ages of ages. Amen. Sweeten the odor of our uncleanness with the pleasantness of your love and kindness, O Lord our God. Purify us from the taint of sin, good shepherd, who searched for us when we were lost, who delighted in our finding. In your mercy and compassion, purge me of my sins, both those I know and those of which I know not. Bless me, O oh my Lord. Bless me, O oh my Lord. Bless me, O oh my Lord. May your mercy and grace bring us near to these glorious, holy, life-giving, divine mysteries, though in truth we are not worthy of them. Glory to your holy name, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, and adoration to your majesty forever. Amen. This is the life-giving bread which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Those who eat of it shall not die, but shall be saved by it and live forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory be to you, O Lord, for this great gift which you have given us forever. Amen. With true faith in your name, O Lord, we draw near to these holy mysteries. In your mercy we break this bread, the body of your Son. In your loving kindness, we sign this the life-giving body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The precious blood is signed with the life-giving body of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and into the ages of ages. Amen. The sacred body is signed with the forgiving blood of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Broken and hallowed, perfected and united, mingled and sealed are these glorious, holy, life-giving, divine mysteries in the name of your most glorious Trinity, Father, Son, and Spirit. May they be for us the pardon of our offenses, the forgiveness of our sins, the hope of resurrection from the dead, and new life in the kingdom of heaven. For us, and for the Holy Church, here and everywhere, now and at all times forever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. The tomb is broken, and Christ is risen from the dead. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen, Amen, Amen. Let us approach in awe and with respect the mystery of the body and blood of our Savior. Let us receive these gifts with humble hearts, filled with the overflowing charity of God. Let us participate in these mysteries with the Church in prayer and deep contrition. With hope, let us turn from evil and weep over our sins. Let us ask God for mercy and forgiveness, and let us forgive those who have harmed us. Lord, forgive the sins of your servants. Let us purify our consciences from divisions and strife. Lord, forgive the sins of your servants. Let us purify our souls from hatred and hostility. O oh Lord, forgive the sins of your servants. Let us receive this communion and be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. O oh Lord, forgive the sins of your servants. Let us purify our consciences from all divisions and strife. With one accord in spirit, joyfully let us participate in the mysteries. O Lord, forgive the sins of your servants. Let them be for us, O Lord, the way to the resurrection of our bodies and salvation unto life everlasting. Amen. Pardon, O Lord, the sins of your servants. Sanctify our lips by your goodness that we might glorify your sublime divinity together with the holy ones of your kingdom forever and ever, unto the ages of ages. 
O Lord our God, grant that we might stand in your presence without stain, and that with our hearts pure and our faces unveiled, we might call upon you, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. May peace be with you. And also with you. These things are for you, the holy people. It is right and in harmony. One Holy Father, one Holy Son, one Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Praise be to the living God. Praise to him in his church. And may his mercy and compassion be ours at all times and seasons. May the Son who has given us his body and his blood give us life in your kingdom, Father. Sanctify us with your holy body. Pardon our sins with your holy blood. Purify our consciences with the hyssop of your line, O Christ, the hope of our nature forever. O heavenly bridegroom, you have prepared a cup for the guests at your banquet. You have invited us to feast and bidden us to drink. Glory be to you for your great gifts forever. Amen. May Christ's gift of grace be fruitful in all of us through his mercies. Forever and ever unto the ages of ages. Lord, it is always good that we give praise and adoration to your wondrous name. In your goodness you have ennobled our weak nature, that we might bless your name along with the angels, that we might partake in the mystery of your gift, that we might find delight in the sweetness of your words. May we always lift our hearts and voices in praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord, who are Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the age of the ages. Christ is our God. He is our Lord, our King, our Savior, the giver of life and redeemer of our sins. By his grace and mercy, he has made us worthy to receive his most precious and sanctifying body and blood. May he grant that we be pleasing in our words and actions, in our thoughts and in our deeds. May what we have received be a pledge for us and obtain the pardon of our debts and forgiveness of our sins. May it also be our hope of the resurrection from the dead and new life in the kingdom of heaven along with all who have been pleasing to you. May we ask this through your grace and mercy, you who live and reign forever and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless us, my Lord. Bless us, O my Lord. Our Father in heaven, may your name be glorified. May your kingdom be established. Holy, holy, holy are you, our Father in heaven. The heavens and earth are full of your great glory. Angels and people are crying to you. Holy, holy, holy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen and amen. 
Our Father in heaven, may your name be glorified. May your kingdom be established. Holy, holy, holy are you. The heavens and earth are full of your great glory. Angels and people are crying to you. Holy, holy, holy are you. Let us pray. May God's peace be with us. God has filled us with all the spiritual blessings of heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord and has called us to share his blissful kingdom without beginning or end. Father, your divine word promised us this in his life-giving gospel when he said to the blessed group of his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever eats my body and drinks my blood lives in me and I in him, and I will raise him up on the last day. He shall not come to judgment, but I will pass him from death to eternal life. May God bless every one of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. May we be sealed by the living sign of the cross of our Lord, be guarded from all dangers, hidden or manifest, now and forever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.